For other persons named John Sargent, see John Sargent disambiguation John Sargent December 5, 1779 to November 23, 1852 was an American politician who represented Pennsylvania in the United States House of Representatives. He was the National Republican Party's vice presidential nominee in the 1832 presidential election, serving on a ticket with Senator Henry Clay. He was born in Philadelphia to Jonathan Dickinson Sargent and Margaret Spencer. He came from a family of prominent politicians, including his father, his grandsons, John Sargent Wise and Richard Alsop Wise, and his great-grandson, John Crane Kunkel. After graduating from Princeton University, Sargent served in the Philadelphia government and won election to the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. As a member of the Federalist Party, he won election to the United States House of Representatives, serving from 1815 to 1823. In Congress, he supported Clay's American system and opposed the extension of slavery, voting against the Missouri Compromise. After serving as president of the Pennsylvania Board of Canal Commissioners, Sargent returned to Congress in 1827. He lost his 1829 re-election campaign and became a legal counsel for the Second Bank of the United States. In the 1832 presidential election, the ticket of Clay and Sargent was soundly defeated by the Democratic ticket of Andrew Jackson and Martin Van Buren. After the election, Sargent joined the Whig Party and again returned to Congress, serving from 1837 to 1841. He was also the president of the Pennsylvania Constitutional Convention in 1838. He retired from public office in 1841 and resumed his law practice. Private life and education Sargent was educated in the common schools and at the University of Pennsylvania at Philadelphia. He graduated from Princeton College in 1795. He became a lawyer and, after being admitted to the bar in 1799, practiced law for 50 years. Public service In 1800 Sargent became Deputy Attorney General for Philadelphia and then Commissioner of Bankruptcy for Pennsylvania the following year. He was a member of the Pennsylvania State House of Representatives from 1808 to 1810. He was elected as a Federalist to the United States House of Representatives to fill the vacancy caused by the death of Jonathan Williams. He was re-elected three times, serving from October 10, 1815 to March 3, 1823, and managed to reach the position of chairman of the United States House Committee on the Judiciary. Sargent was a strong backer of Henry Clay's American system and the Second Bank of the United States in Congress, and even traveled to Europe to negotiate loans to the bank. He was also a strong opponent of slavery who voted against the Missouri Compromise. He then retired albeit temporarily, from Congress. In 1825, he was president of the Pennsylvania Board of Canal Commissioners. The following year, he was an envoy to the Panama Congress, and then was returned to the U.S. House of Representatives for the term starting March 4, 1827. He failed re-election to the following term and left Congress for the second time on March 3, 1829. He then became legal counsel to the Bank of the United States. Vice presidential candidate Sargent was Henry Clay's running mate on the National Republican ticket during the 1832 presidential election but lost to Andrew Jackson and Martin Van Buren in a landslide and again retreated from public life. After his vice presidential candidacy, he returned as president of the Pennsylvania Constitutional Convention in 1838, and then was elected as a Whig to the U.S. House of Representatives. He served this last time from March 4, 1837 until he resigned on September 15, 1841, and again was chair of the Committee on the Judiciary for the 1837–1839 term. He returned to his law practice, declining offers of a cabinet or diplomatic position from the new Whig administration. In 1844 he was considered for the Whig vice presidential nomination, to once again run with Clay, but at the convention lost out to Theodore Frelinghuysen. Sargent died in Philadelphia on November 23, 1852 and was interred at Laurel Hill Cemetery. Family 
On June 23, 1813 he married Margareta Watmo, daughter of James Horatio Watmo and Anna Carmack. With Margareta he fathered ten children, all but one surviving infancy. His oldest daughter, also named Margareta June 26, 1814 to January 7, 1886 married Major General George Meade, commander of the Union Army of the Potomac from the Battle of Gettysburg until the end of the Civil War. Another daughter, Sarah September 24, 1817 to October 14, 1850 married Henry A. Wise. His youngest son, William August 29, 1829 to April 11, 1865 served in the Civil War and was mortally wounded at the Battle of White Oak Road. Sources United States Congress. John Sargent id, S. Biographical Directory of the United States Congress. The Political Graveyard. One accessed October 26, 2008. Two accessed October 26, 2008.